Welcome back to Just Swing It. Welcome back, boys and girls. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. And welcome back, RC Model Aviation Dudes all across the globe. We're with Master Scratch Builder Barrett Hawkhouse. <laughs> and he has a what? what this is, is a C124 Globemaster II. Okay. All the right. second in the lineage. Okay. Okay. Uh, tell us all about it. Like, what gave well, you the idea besides this, this book? Or what was it about the Globemaster? Does anybody remember the old television program from the 90s? Wings on the Discovery Channel? Yes, absolutely. Well, the very first episode I saw was their episode on giants, you know, large aircraft. Yeah. And that was my first exposure back in the mid 90s, early mid 90s, to the C 124 Globemaster. Uh -huh. And I think some people are just born to like certain airplanes because I saw that thing and I said, I really want to build that someday. Sure. I fell in love with a lot of airplanes for the first time on that one program sure. Lockheed Constitution, XC 99, Super Guppy, and this. Wow. And wow. Uh, so what, it's, it's one of those things, I'm not sure what took me so darn long after I started <laughs> scratch building yeah. to actually get around to building it. Right. But I'm glad I waited because, you know, it, it, it looks pretty good. It as does. Go. It really, I mean, I'm going to pan around while you talk and you want to point out details, please, you know. But, mm. but uh, so yeah, so what's the, what's the inquiring minds are going to run? What's it built out of? It's built out of... Three or four separate distinct foam okay. types of foam. The okay. wings are made of that foam core board. Yep. And it's like uh, paper colored foam. I think it's the same stuff that people call Dollar Tree foam. Sure, sure. Um, the engine nacelles and the fuselage are made from expanded polymer foam. Uh huh. Uh, one, one inch to one and a half inch foam, carved and sanded. Sure. The cockpit ha battery hatch is made out of the solid green foam. It also comes in pink sometimes blue. Yep, yep, And yep. it's very dense insulation yep. board. The vertical tail stabilizer is made out of the pink version of this. Okay. The horizontal, the pitch stabilizer is made out of that foam core board again. Sure. So I, it's I, a yeah. homogenization of different parts. And, and you have details like the air, like the scoop there in the tail looks yep. like. The air, and yep. You got All the uh, little pedo antennas. Yes. I even have the uh, exhaust port for the lav in the back over here. <laughs> oh and these, the, these little pedos, I got pedos, I don't know what they do. <laughs> See, another reason I did this and why I did this particular aircraft was the C-124 we have down at Pima Air Museum in Tucson. Yep. And I've been going there since I was a little kid. Right. And over the last 10, 20 years, I've been collecting pictures of that C-124, oh. knowing that I would build a model someday. Okay. Okay. And so the decals are all accurate, but the real fine details, like the pedos, and there's some little exhaust yeah. tube down here. Sure. I I don't know what it does, but it's there on the real airplane, so yeah. I put it there on so the model. So there it is. Yeah. yeah. Now this had uh, clamshell doors up front. Yes, it did. Mm -hmm. And I was loading ramp. When I was first building it, I was thinking that would be the battery hatch. Right. That it would open up. Right. But I realized that with this soft foam, yeah, there was a chance that the the seam sure. would just be gummy and ugly looking. Oh yeah. So I just decided to make the hat, the cockpit area, yeah. the hatch. Yeah. And that way, it's just it's Let's more seamless. Let's the batteries in there real you don't, quick. So notice it as well. Yeah. So I see him. I see him. Yeah. yeah. The okay. batteries are two 3S 4000 roaring tops. There you go. Um, there you go. That's because when I was... Um, Planning this airplane out, I was looking for motors that came. I was looking for motors off of Freewing or Motion RC that came with three-bladed props, so that I could have scale props. Sure. And sure. I was looking at the Freewing, the Flightline B24. I literally. And eventually, I settled on the Freewing Pandora. Uh huh. And so I, these are Pandora motors and Pandora props. They look great. And the Pandora only wants three-cell power. Yeah. But the Pandora weighs 3.3 pounds with battery. Yeah, this is 11 and a half, you said? Yeah, 11, 11 and a half pounds. So these yeah. four motors should be good for like a 13 pound airplane. Yeah. And as you say, it's 11 and a half pounds. Yeah. Well, uh, she... 96 inch wingspan, okay. 74 inches, including the radome. Yep. Um, and it handles, as you see in the video, it handles beautifully. Yeah, you were flying, you said you were flying on 50% power? There were times when I was flying on 50% power. Jeez. I was disappointed though. I needed about 
I needed close to full throttle to get off the ground. I was okay. disappointed in that. Okay. But well, uh, now what's she covered with? Is that that oh. light metal? Yeah, or? she's covered with Oracal. I have a piece Oracal. of it here. Okay. okay. It's just that uh, silver um, vinyl yep. peel and stick. Yep. And okay. she's covered with a bunch of those. Just like I first uh, first got into the habit with um, my Conestoga. Yeah. And it worked yeah. out really well. It creates a nice me metal finish. And you well, get you've gone from the uh, Conestoga driver to a uh, Globemaster driver. <laughs> yep, yep, and scaled up a little. Yeah. Um, Deep house from Cali. Yep. And yep. Uh, our gal. Yep. A little about the history. The uh, C124 Globemaster was developed from the C74 Globemaster. Okay. At the end of the war, Douglas developed a giant size transport sure. with like a 170 foot wingspan. Wow. And that, by comparison, the B29 was only 141 inch, yeah. or 141 foot wingspan. Right. And they gave it a really, really wide but circular fuselage. Right. And in those days, Douglas was uh, experimenting with the idea of putting both of the pilots in individual bubble canopies. Wow. So the original C-74, single deck, round fuselage, same tail, same wing, same engines. Okay. But it had these fighter-like bubble canopies huh. in right. the front uh, originally. Yeah. And they also did that on their Mixmaster. Yep. Um, and... Jetmaster bomber prototypes. Yeah. Eventually, it didn't work out, and what they did is on the C-74, they refit the, uh, they, they they combined them into one, sure, uh, one bug eye canopy. Yeah, one but the C deck. But the C-74 also developed a new technique. Um, it had an elevator behind the wing. Yeah. Doors would open up, and the elevator would come down, oh, wow. pick up cargo, and bring it directly in. Oh, because geez. throughout World War II, <laughs> it was just so hard to squeeze cargo sideways. Yeah. Through the doors on the cargo right, planes. Right. Right. So Douglas addressed that with the elevator that would come down, and right. they kept that on the C-124. What yep. they did with the C-124 is, after the Berlin airlift, the uh, Douglas realized that you know we can get more out of this airframe with a new fuselage, right. and they basically added a double-decker slab-sided fuselage Jeez, okay. onto the C-74 wings and tail yeah. to arrive at the C C-124 Globemaster II, which is what this is. Wow. And it really was kind of the C-5 Galaxy of the Abs 50s. Absolutely. Well, it's beautiful. It was called well, Old Shaky because, for one thing, it was never pressurized, so they always flew nice and low, yep. and it always had this vibration shakiness to it. <laughs> um, there's plenty of videos that can explain the special features of the C-124, yeah, but yeah. I'll go over them briefly. Yeah. The clamshells would open up, two little ramps would extend, yeah. cargo could be driven up into the hold here. Um, well, uh, floor panels on each side of the upper deck could yeah. be lowered, yeah. and lighter weight cargo Cargo, including people, could be oh, stored nice. on the upper deck here. Or yeah. if you had other cargo, like a, some early ICBMs, ballistic missiles could be loaded into this sure. thing. Helicopters could be loaded into this thing. Sure. So you would fold the upper deck panels up like that and get the full space of the fuselage. Oh my God, what a beauty. Well, I'll tell you what, Barrett. Uh, we'll, we'll wrap by, by me saying this. Unbelievable uh, build, uh, inspiration. Um, she flew beautifully, and thank you so much for explaining both the model and the history because you know inquiring minds are going to want to know. Yeah, so, yeah. So thank you Barrett. Uh, really, bravo. Great thank job you, and we're, we look forward to seeing her fly more here at St. George, brother. Thank you. Alrighty.